welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing another behind the scenes today i have my sister orisa modeling for us uh, if you guys did not know orisa is an amazing artist she paints paintings she does a lot of really cute animal pictures i mean you paint really anything and she does a lot of commissions i will leave her etsy store in the description down below so go ahead and check it out and yeah, today we're gonna be shooting actually at my parents' house. They just kind of renovated this space, so they added some windows as well. Um, I'm just kind of bored of shooting in my house because I've done so many shoots there, so I decided why not come here. Uh, we're shooting with a Kate backdrop, uh, new backdrops that are made on canvas. And we're just using, using natural light that comes from this big window right over here. Uh, Orisa is wearing vintage clothing, the stuff that I thrifted as usual. And yeah, let's just get started with this photo shoot. Before this photo shoot, I did two more at my house and I didn't really like them. Something didn't quite work out for me. And now I realize that it's probably because I've done so many other photo shoots at my house last year that the space felt quite uninspiring and switching it up doing a photo shoot at a different location definitely helped me to get those creative juices flowing again so i definitely recommend that if you guys are feeling quite stuck to change up your location just a bit and see if that helps I also decided to do makeup on Orisa myself because, you know, she's my sister and I can touch her face. We just went for a very simple look with a lot of blush and curled hair. The first look that I'm gonna try is this nightgown and I really like the top of the nightgown, the ruching over there. So we're gonna try to start with this look. Uh, Orisa just has her hair curled up and I did her very simple makeup. So the light is coming from this door right over here and it was very cloudy in the morning but now the sun is actually getting out of the clouds so we see a little bit of the, like the harsh light coming in through here. I'm not gonna have to move her like further this way or that way uh, but I'm just gonna try this first and see what it looks like and then just kind of go from there but we're only going to be using natural light from the windows actually i'm like we might use my little mini 20d from aperture to give her some room light from the back or maybe to light up the background we'll see again i'm just gonna start shooting and gonna see how it goes mm, yeah you see this light that's going right over here is a little bit too bright um so what if you move oh actually closer to me yeah, so that you're not like in that light, but maybe that light gets, yeah. Oh, that's cool because now it's kind of lighting up her hair over here, but she's in the shadow. We'll see, maybe I'll need to move you just a little bit closer, but let me just take a picture of this first. Yeah, what if, uh, what if I move you a little bit closer? Another yeah, yeah. Actually, what if you're just standing? Take this away, the chair. Maybe that's gonna be easier, at least for right now, before we find like the spot. Can I get closer to me? Step mm, back. Yeah, what if you just get closer to the window itself? Let me see. Yeah, that's better, but then I'm not really getting my background in the shot. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Actually, I don't like this dress. I wanna change the dress. But what if you, yeah, let's take it off and let's just have yours, your shirt. Yeah, you're gonna have to just turn your body more towards the, the window, yeah, or at least like that. And then go a little bit this way, yeah, that's perfect, right there, and a little bit closer to the window, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think that right there looks very nice. Oh yes, that is beautiful, okay. I don't know if I really like this shirt that much. Oh, actually, maybe I do. I wish it was a little bit different. What if, um, can you actually wear this one for me? I want, yeah, oh, I like this way better. Mm, 
just gonna bend it over here so it stays yeah that looks really beautiful like maybe something like this just off the shoulder you'll see if we need this or not yeah yeah go and sit and i'm gonna make her hair just a little bit so what i want maybe i want to put your hair up just look yeah it's gonna look very elegant okay so what i'm gonna do is leave stuff like that and then like start just twisting the hair and putting it up i'm not good with hair but orisa has very short hair and it's already curled so it's gonna look nice anyways like you just all i'm doing is just kind of twisting it and putting it up i've done this for lots of photo shoots just kind of improvise <laughs> Oh, you know what? I have another um, shawl that might look really cool because it has these sleeves. It's a little bit of a different white, but you might be able to play with the sleeves and make it look kind of cool. And by the way, I know people are going to be asking, all of the clothing that I'm using is from Value Village everything is thrifted everything is vintage so i don't really think you can buy these things anymore i know that this uh specific nightgown is from olga nightgowns and they were popular in like the 80s this thing i don't even know it doesn't have any tags so i don't even know where this is from but it's beautiful everything is thrifted oh yes yes i love <laughs> And normally I don't like gray backgrounds because I think they're too simple, but it really works here. I really like it. Just a simple gray backdrop. Uh, I actually want to unroll it just a little bit here. So I'm getting it in some of the shots like rolled. And I do not want that. Oh, I love that, Aris. That's really beautiful. Okay, keep that pose, please do not move. Okay, you know what, what I wanna do because I'm getting a lot of shots that I really, really like. So I wanna load up my film camera so that when I see the shot, I grab it on film as well. I'm gonna be using the Porta 400 for my film. This is uh, color film. I kind of miss shooting some black and white, but this is all I have left. I need to go and get some more. This is literally the last roll of film that I have. And for those who are new to my channel, have not seen me shoot film before, I'm using the Mamiya 645, which is a medium format film camera. I love shooting medium format film. It is my just absolute favorite. Some of my very favorite pictures are taken on this camera. All right. And I love the whole process of just loading in the film and just being so hands-on with it, and here's the magic. <laughs> okay, we're ready to shoot. I'm gonna be trying to shoot this wide open. So I'm at 1.9, I'm at 250 for my shutter speed, and my ISO is of course 400. Uh, this is an 80 millimeter lens, but on the medium format, it's almost like a 50 millimeter, which I also really like. Okay, it takes me a while to focus. Uh, also, something with your expression, it's almost like, hmm, looks like this. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's beautiful right there. Okay, so now, don't move. I'm gonna focus quickly, one. Chin down just a little bit more, maybe? Yeah. One, actually. Yeah, one, two, three. That's beautiful. Ooh. Oh. oh my God, please do not move. One, two, three. Oh, that's, yeah. So keep your eyes at me like the whole time because I love the way your eyes look here. No, 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 put the other way, how you had it, yeah. 
because when you're holding it like this, the sleeve is falling really, really beautifully and it's like illuminated by the light. It looks absolutely beautiful. So just keep doing that, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Yeah, just keep posing like that. I'm just gonna be grabbing different sides, different angles. And your eyes at me all the time. If you put it like this, yeah, so that this thing just kind of drapes like that. Yeah, I love that too, how you kind of have it over your hand. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do some more close-ups here of this. Mm hmm Yes, yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. Actually, don't cover it too much. And I kind of liked when you almost putting the other hand in there too. Yeah. Yes, like that. That's really beautiful, Oris. Oh my god, I was shooting the same settings that I had for my film camera. I gotta change it back. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful, it is. What if you put both of your hands kind of like this? Yeah. Yes. Ooh, and just your eyes at me. Yes. Okay. Do not move. I need this in film. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. And let's do one even closer. Yeah, keep the shoulder there. Uh huh. Oh my god, yes. One, two, three. Yeah, and then drop this hand down. Mm hmm Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, that's beautiful, Aris. I actually love that. Yeah, what if you just, uh, what if you put your legs like this onto the seat? Yeah. Mm hmm Do you want to like take off my socks or? No. Actually, yeah. And pull no, your pants put it in that. higher so that I don't see them. No, I know that I've done this specific pose like so many times, but it just always looks so good. <gasps> That's beautiful, Aris. Oh, I wish I had for some more film because this pose is so pretty. a little bit more so you're more straight oh oh my god okay that looks good just you're standing oh my god that's really really good Aris. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. <gasps> Stay like that. Bring your arms just a little bit higher. Perfect. Okay, I think we got it now. All right, so we just finished our photo shoot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, don't forget to check out Orisa and her work. Link will be in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.